Here at Makapu'u, Eddie Kamai spent many an hour with Gabby Pahinui fishing and talking about chords and lyrics. They didn't dream they were already shaping a sound that would influence Hawaiian music for years to come. The two performers had known of each other, but they hadn't played together until the day in 1958 when Eddie happened to pass through Waimanalo on his way to Waikiki. Well, first, first time I meeting Gabby, uh, he, was, he was really skinny, you know, he couldn't eat. And uh, so they had to feed him soup three meals a day with a straw. I think I would have just gone on with my work, you know, gone on to Waikiki to teach. But when, I, when he told me, he said, son, go and get your ukulele. He said, play, play with me. So I play with him and I take the solo and he would sing songs and strum his guitar and play slack key. It was beautiful. So I stayed with him. His name was Charles Philip Kahahawai Kunia Pahinui. He'd been performing in and around Honolulu since the 1930s. Other musicians called him Gabardine and later Gabby because of the pleated slacks he used to wear and maybe because his kinky hair was like the worsted fabric. His early recording of the old Big Island love song, Hi'ilawe, had awakened new listeners to the magic of that uniquely Hawaiian style of tuning and picking we call slack key. By the late 1950s, he was playing at the Queen Surf in Waikiki and hosting legendary jam sessions at his house in Waimanalo. It was a place of party and, and meeting people, and everybody loved to, to see things happen at Gabby's place. It was a magic place. During the weekends, we used to hold a session. Sometimes it's people there Friday, we jam Friday night. And if that Saturday, we join in Saturday. And sometimes Sundays, who's ever left there, some people sleep overnight, who's ever left there, jam with us. Ooh, world of fun. Steel guitar, he was a beautiful steel guitarist. Beautiful, he was all bass player, ukulele, and it's all strings. He even played mandolin. I'll be done, he plays the mandolin. But he was searching for one thing. One thing was empty in that man's life. And I know, I watched this man so talented. He wasn't happy. You know, something bothered him. He was looking for something he could call his own, you know. Something that identify with his music. Three years after that, he was very, very sick, very, very sick man. And they used to go around the house with him. And he was getting well because he was playing with Eddie. But Eddie was looking for something, do something else that's missing that he also wanted. Every night he go down there, they practicing those two guys, take Gabby out of his misery. Eddie go down there, make Gabby feel good about the music. Somebody that knows what he's talking about. He's missing something and maybe, maybe Eddie can answer. So he went from one day to one month, you know, just constantly playing music with him. But what I found that interests me, that he had a beautiful strum and rhythm, you know, and the way he plucks his instruments, the strings, and the way he sets his rhythm. I've never heard anything so sweet, you know. So I stayed there, playing with him, not knowing anything about Hawaiian music. But I also found out everything happens from the soul. Inside, his, his gut feeling is the way he projects. You know, he's a natural man, natural kind of a, a Hawaiian arranger, mind, not paper, mind, soul kind of way. I always glance into the Johnny Noble's book, and uh, I came across this song that I thought it was beautiful. And I had a feeling it was a, a very beautiful, sweet kind of a waltz. So I told Gabby, why don't you sing this song? So I played it for him on my ukulele. And he says, 
I said, but I don't know anything Hawaiian. I said, you need to sing this song. So then he wrote the words. And I play, and gradually he had a feel for this song. Uh, and I had this other ukulele with me, six-string ukulele. You know. And he says, he says, give me the ukulele. So after he sang a few bars of the song, he had the feel of it. What, what really amazes me is that how he could just play an instrument well, you know. That's what I saw in Gabby. Pick up the ukulele and start doing an introduction. And I listened to him, it's when he started strumming, and setting the whole motion of things and rhythm, you know, and his voice, he had this beautiful kind of old Hawaiian voice, you know, and he started to sing the words. And I'm looking at him, you know, and I said to myself, yes, you can do this. I just fell in love with the sound, his voice, and Hawaiian music. I said, wow, here is something I told him was beautiful. He made it a little more beautiful, you know. He made it special, for, for me anyway, that day. 